Well, congratulations to him. Yeah. Heartwarming story. Yeah, what a cool story. And speaking of warm, it certainly has been. Oh yeah, definitely. It is uh, not quite full force summer here yet, but we're starting to see those patterns present themselves where we have high pressure building in on top of us, and that's what's making us really, really warm. And then high pressure over to our east is just sending a flood of humidity here into South Texas. Right now, temperatures are still on the warm, if not hot side of things, 89 in Corpus Christi, and a little bit warmer the further inland you go. Places like Allison Kingsville sitting at the 94 degree mark. Look from our tower cam right now. You can almost see a little bit of that haze I was talking about earlier on the edge of the sky or on the edge of our uh, view here. That's from not only the humidity, but also that agricultural smoke from the burns going on in Central America. So 89 right now, that humidity contributing to a feels like temperature of 103. Heading into tonight, we will have another chance for some patchy fog due to the smoke particles kind of interrupting acting with all of that humidity. The water in the atmosphere loves to cling to those little particles, so we do have that chance for not only the patchy fog, but also a little uh, straight shower right along the coast and another very humid morning. 77 for that low temperature, 94 tomorrow afternoon, but it feels like temperature closer to 110 because of that humidity. So here's a check of high temperatures across the coastal bend tomorrow, 94 in Corpus Christi, but again, the further inland that you go, the hotter it's going to be. 80s right along the coast if you have plans to head out to the beach with all the sunshine as well as those hot temperatures. Make sure you're staying hydrated as well as using sunscreen. That's two of the most important things you can do for heat safety. Feels like temperatures tomorrow well over 100 degrees. Haven't heard anything about heat advisories being issued for tomorrow, but that is likely to come heading into the next week or so. Temperatures going to stay pretty consistent. Really, we do have a couple days heading into the end of the work week that we're going to be challenging or at least get very close to some record highs uh, in the 90s as well. But add the humidity on top of that and feels like temperatures are in the 110s just about every single day. So once we get further into the week, it's likely that we're going to start seeing those heat advisories issued pretty much daily and if not an excessive heat warning or two heading into next weekend. Here's what our weather pattern is looking like. I mentioned high pressure building in over top of us and to our south. That's not shown on here, but what is is high pressure at the surface that's sending those onshore winds and lots of humidity into the coastal bend. Those winds are going to be quite breezy thanks to a series of disturbances moving across the northern part of the United States and the central plains. So that's making us breezy and pulling in a lot more humidity. Unfortunately, the weather pattern, like I mentioned, very summer like to where those disturbances and fronts, they're not able to make it down here. So we're just going to remain very hot, very humid and quite breezy for the rest of this week, including into your Memorial Day weekend. So 90s pretty much each and every day, almost hotter every single day with more sunshine and those feels like temperatures quite hot. So if you are heading out and have plans, keep that in mind. Also, just outside of the scope of that seven day forecast, above normal temperatures are expected in South Texas, especially. So that means that our temperatures have a pretty good chance of being above normal. So very, very hot weather here the next couple of days. Mostly sunny here in Corpus Christi tomorrow. Very hot and humid. Again, no heat advisories issued as of yet, but make sure you're checking back in with us tomorrow morning and we'll be able to let you know if any of those have been issued. Brian. All right. Thank you, Kristen. Corpus